Good morning, Maverick. Good morning, buddy. Hi, young doggy. How you feeling, puppy? That's a good boy. Kong, don't try this at home, buddy. Yup, yup, yup. Are you okay? No, that hurt, bro. <laughs> okay, hey, yo, good morning, little gang. What's poppin'? Oh, man. The 2017 year in review video, where do I begin? I guess I could start with this. At 22 years old, I bought my first house for $6.5 million and moved my two boys in with me. What's up? Hey. But I wasn't quite satisfied, so I had a koi pond put in. Painted the walls of the guest house. Bought a giant truck known as the Yeti. Bought a school bus, and then turned it into a cool bus. Installed the home theater system. Blah, 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 more material objects. Guys, the point is I bought a lot of things, including this Rolex. Hey guys, anyways, 2017 was the year of Logan Paul. This was my rocket fuel year. Hi, how you doing? Oh this was the year that the two first names, Logan and Paul, became a household name. Now, before you make your judgments, let me stop you guys. The legend Muhammad Ali once said, it's not bragging, if you can back it up. Wow. Your boy put a dent in the universe this year. Let's start with number one, internet domination. Low gang, we became the fastest channel to hit 10 million subscribers in the history of YouTube ever. It took us 333 days and I got my diamond plaque, which was pretty cool. But the plaque was only a small representation of how strong the Low Gang truly is. I realized our true power after we made history by shutting down the Dubai Mall with the biggest meet and greet in the world. Yeah, we did that. Next level, guys, 2.8 billion views on YouTube this year. Even old people know who I am. I also continue to break down the barriers of traditional Hollywood as internet star turned actor. I played a character that's even chotsier than me named Mickey Bowen in a movie called Valley Girl. This will be my first movie going into theaters. Uh, it's coming out next year, June 29th, by the way, so save the day. <laughs> But yeah, it was produced by MGM. It's that that lion that roars. Yeah, that's the one. I also did a movie called The Thinning too. It'll come out next year around the same time on YouTube Red, so save that day too. And then I also did a second season of my show, Logan Paul vs. I went on an episode of Top Chef. I did a demolition derby. I wrestled an alligator. I dressed up as an old person for the day and went to a retirement home. Oh yeah. I hitchhiked from Canada to Mexico and I was the mayor of a small town in Louisiana for a weekend. And lastly, let's not forget about my movie Airplane Mode starring your favorite social media stars coming to YouTube Red this January. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you that, but yeah, oh, yeah. oh, So that's cute. That's foo foo. But the biggest game changer for me, the thing that helped me build all of this, was when I started the hottest clothing line on the market, Maverick by Logan Paul. We had our first Maverick pop up shop in New York, and we shut down Soho for three days straight. It was insane seeing everyone joining the revolution and following the brand. Literally, we cost New York City police a quarter million dollars because the planning wasn't the best. That's my bad, New York. Oh, I also took my shirt off. <laughs> What's new? But it's funny because the second pop-up store was actually on a first-class flight to Dubai. We hit the stage, we ready to raise, we thunder up. Stay in your place, we get in your face, and thunder up. We hit the stage, we ready to raise, we thunder up. And just a little forewarning, I don't think I'm allowed to fly on the airline Please don't again. Throw me off the plane. But it's all good because that was fire, baby. Wow, life is amazing. Guys, I've learned a lot this year too. And I think even though I'm a young chotch, everyone can take a piece of wisdom with them from my experiences because I've done a lot of shit. Guys, I believe that life is all about a mindset. It's about perspective or how you look at things. For example, check this out. 
Hey. So for me, guys, the grind is real. Like, I'm barely sleeping, but I found what it is that I love, so I started saying, I don't work, but I work hard. Maybe start thinking like this. I don't have to go to work, I get to go to work, right? I don't have to go to school, I get to go to school. I get to learn, think, grow better, because not everyone has that luxury. Needless to say, 2017 was absolutely crazy. But let's go rapid fire for a second, because here are some things I left out. I shipped my roommate Evan to Paris in a bag. I crashed France's first ever Saturday Night Live. I hung out with The Rock again. I faked my death and then got kicked out of my apartment for that. But then I moved and then also got kicked out of that apartment too. I officiated a wedding. I filled my brother's pool with slime, presented a Billboard Music Award, filled my bus with balls, caught a homeless guy trying to steal my bus, and touched reptiles with my mom. Yeah, yeah, so I also um, had the Secret Service arrest my brother Jake. Hey, hey, yo, fight it, yo, hey, 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 I also made a diss track against my brother that got um, 200 million total views after I released the second verse. I act in movies that your fans watch with their babysitter. But that's only because he made a diss track against me. The low gang is sh He didn't mean that. We both ended up apologizing, but we did perform the second verse live. <laughs> like I said though guys, we made up with each other. Like I actually love the kid. Jake, I love you. I love you, Shit. my bro. Side note, uh, don't use us as examples when it comes to how to handle your family. That's beef that should have stayed offline, but we're both stubborn and our egos are too big. <laughs> okay. I met a boy band named Why Don't We? I adopted them as my little brothers, then directed a music video of theirs that got 30 million views, then made a song with them that got 169 million views that you may have heard. Help me help you. Girl, what you tryna do? Cause I don't got a clue. No, I ain't no Scooby Doo. Help you. Girl, what you trying to do? Guys, I also made a song with Designer. I flew a fan to Los Angeles to make a music video with him. I won two Teen Choice Awards, and then flew to Tennessee to watch the solar eclipse. Then I made it on Jimmy Kimmel, and then I broke a Maverick Bugatti. Yes, I broke that. And then I went to the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa. Hey. I'm almost done. Okay, I got a dog named Kong. I got tackled at VidCon, vacationed in Hawaii, got paparazzi on the beach in Hawaii. That wasn't cool, by the way. I gave a little gangster a tattoo, bought my roommate Evan a Rolex, then bought him diamond grills, bought myself diamond grills, got crazy at Burning Man, flew to Italy to surprise my brother, got arrested by Italian police, bought the biggest pumpkin in California, dropped it, used a crane to take a ride down my new street, dropped 3,000 pounds of dry ice into my pool, made 40,000 tons of snow in my front yard, surfed down the street on a Christmas tree, put a million Christmas lights on my cool bus. Ah, and if there's one thing I've learned. They say life is short, right? But this year I realized life's not short. You just gotta do more. Here's some other stuff I learned from this year. Number one, exceed expectations. It's not overachieving, but it's always doing that little extra step to impress people. Two, the theory of yes but no, where everything is possible until it's not. And even then, it's still possible. Number three, your team, your squad, the people who you surround yourself with. Make sure they're people who are willing to put their heart and soul into every project you undertake and people who are just as crazy as you. And lastly, be different. Be a maverick. Don't be afraid to go right when they go left. That's how you dent the universe. What is no one else doing? It's called market making. Personally, my goal isn't to be the biggest actor in the world or even the biggest businessman. I'm gonna be the biggest entertainer on the planet. So I gotta do both of those things. And it's so crazy because the scary part is, the part that most people don't understand, I'm just getting warmed up. And at the end of every year, I hope I can stand on this planet and say, this has been the greatest year of my life! <laughs>
Thank you guys for watching. Do yourself a favor and join the Low Gang, the strongest family on the internet. Hit the subscribe button and get your Maverick merch at loganpaul.com slash shop. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy, fam. Peace.